All right, today I'm going to get into the fourth pillar, recovery. The two big things on this one is pretty much sleep and hydration. Like hydration is pretty much like uh, how much water you're drinking. Now, like uh, when it uh, comes to like the uh, other pillars, like you can tie this one into like with hydration. Also cutting out like uh, a lot of things like uh, your uh, sodas, your like energy drinks, and like uh, also like a lot of like your uh, fruit juices and plus like um, like uh, your apple juices, orange juices, and everything is like um, the reason why you want to cut out like uh, things like soda and everything because like uh, the negative side effect it would have on like your uh, digest digestive tract with like all the like uh, uh, acidic you know, being more acidic and like with uh, like especially with like the high fructose corn syrup and everything which is uh, not uh, very ben beneficial f for you and everything so you, like uh like getting back to like uh, this, uh, uh, with the second pillar with this one, like uh, with like uh, cutting, uh, uh, you want to cut out like the soda and everything because like uh, you don't want to necessarily drink your calories and everything. So like um, that would be like the first step is uh, cut that stuff out and everything. And, and like the same thing like with energy drinks, like uh, like the popular ones are like uh, Monster and Bang and like uh, C4 has their own version of energy drinks. Like uh, you don't necessarily want to drink stuff like that because like of all the uh, uh, additives and like uh, stuff that they put into it and everything. So like uh, if you think like, uh, like oh, I can't drink just water, like uh, what you can do, like is like if you're a coffee drinker, what you can do is drink coffee. But like um, one thing you want to do is like uh, uh, cut out like uh, the cream and sugar that you put into it and everything. So like um, uh, and drink it black. So like uh, with, uh, with coffee, like uh, it, like when I was drinking coffee, like uh, it took me about a week, maybe two, to kind of switch over from like uh, using like uh, cream and uh, at least cream, and if not, uh, putting some sugar in there now and then to uh, completely back black. It took me, like I said, like about a week or so to kind of get used to the taste and everything. Or if you're not a coffee drinker, what you can do is like um, end up you know, finding like a, a tea, like you you like like a, a green tea, Earl Grey, or so, or something like. Uh, and what you can do is you can use that as like your uh, part of like your morning routine so like uh like what i do like in the morning like i uh, stated before is like i usually like uh, have like half an hour where like i kind of like uh drink uh, a cup of tea and everything kind of like uh, get myself kind of situated for the day and kind of like uh wind up in a sense because like a lot of times like in the uh, end of day like uh, you know a lot of people and experts will say like have uh, have some time to wind down so i use the, uh, the first part of the morning you know, wind up so i can get going and everything so uh, that way you uh, you can do like uh, uh, not just water, but you can also like uh, do like a, like I said coffee or tea or whatever. Uh, I'm not a big fan of those uh, meal uh, uh, flavorings that you can put in water, but you can also do something like that. And like um, another thing, like uh, even though you may not necessarily need the supplement with like a BCAAs or whatever, the branch chain amino acids that's another trick you could do to uh, drink, drink more water is like uh, use something like that to like uh, uh, put in like uh, 10 ounces of water or something and like uh, so that way you know you're getting in some more uh, more water as well so that's like another trick you could do even though you don't necessarily might not need to supplement with the, the BCAs or whatever so like uh, yeah those are some of the tricks you can do to make sure you're staying hydrated and everything and like um with not ingesting like all the like the the crap like uh, that you get from like sodas and energy drinks it'll help uh it, it should help clear your system and everything and like i said with the sodas the not drinking your calories it should help like uh it, 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 it let you lose weight and everything because like uh for instance like if you're drinking like a two liter soda of a, a day and everything that that's good six seven hundred that's probably a good six seven hundred calories that you're drinking and everything so that that will cut out like uh, a lot of like uh excess calorie intake that like uh, uh that you're having especially like i said if you're like you're looking to lose weight and everything so like uh that would be like uh getting back to the second part it would be like first the first step of cutting stuff out like eliminating everything so like uh and the other big thing about like uh, this pillar is sleep like uh a lot of stuff that I've come across is like a lot of times the uh, like uh, studies people or whatever will say like you want to get seven to nine hours of sleep and everything so like because uh, if you're getting like four or five hours of sleep because you're just like constantly working all the time like uh, or like uh, uh, go 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 or like uh, you got kids especially if you got kids and everything like uh, that's going to take like a physical and mental toll on on you so that's why you want to use sleep uh, uh, get and uh, make sure you get enough sleep so that way you're uh, get recharged for the next day and everything so like um 
and like it ties into like a recovery aspect in that like uh like for instance when you're doing your training uh, training like um yeah, a lot of times like uh people don't realize that like when like uh, you're weightlifting you go in and like uh, people think you you build the muscle while, while you're in the gym well and in fact is it is actually like uh like today for instance for me like i did a chest workout and so like um you know uh, doing like a lot of like uh, I'm doing the jack program, so doing uh, like uh, dumbbell press and flies and stuff like that. I'm sitting there built up, kind of breaking down the muscles instead, so kind of putting under uh, under stress and under resistance and everything to build it back up. So like uh, when I go to sleep tonight, like uh, that's when my body is actually like uh, switching over from like uh, in a sense deconstruction to reconstruction. So like it uh, builds up like a uh, uh, better uh, your muscles are thicker and stronger and everything. So like uh, uh, shredded sports science uh, uh, has like a bunch of videos on youtube that he can go uh he goes deeper into the science and everything about, uh behind that so like uh you're actually building the muscle and re uh, doing all your recovery in like uh, in sleep and everything so like um uh, uh for like instance like today like, like with myself like i said doing a chest workout like um uh, I, I go and uh, went and did like a bunch of bent uh dumbbell bench presses and flies and stuff and so like um I put my chest muscles under stress and everything so that way like uh tonight when like uh, I go to sleep like uh my body will sit there and start recovering and build the muscles bigger and stronger and everything so like um and like also recovery also deals with like wanting to make sure that you're not doing the same thing like over and over again so like uh for instance like with that uh, uh the example I'm using with chest workout like I did today I wouldn't necessarily go in and do it again tomorrow because like um I, I haven't had enough time for my muscles to, to recover from today's workout so like uh that, that's why like uh, you want to do like uh uh have uh have like 48 to 72 hours or something so like uh that's usually the numbers i've come across with in videos and uh, and research and stuff so like uh that's why like something like a, a, a most popular like the lifting splits are like the push pull leg splits that you do uh, you do like those three types of workouts twice a week and everything to give yourself enough time in between your workouts to be able to let your muscles recover from like uh, putting them under stress and everything so like um another example would be like uh, if you're like a swimmer and you go into like a swimming meet and like uh you're doing like five or six events and like uh, you pretty much bust your ass and you like uh are able to uh, place in like say the top three of all the events that you're in but then afterwards like you're kind of exhausted and everything the next day like uh you're also like uh trying to recover so like you're not like uh you can't uh you not necessarily want to like uh, do like another swim meet the next day and everything so like uh uh you'd want to do like the next day like maybe like a recover uh, like a recovery day like uh, maybe like uh, get out for like a a, a walk and then like uh be able to like uh also like um uh maybe do some yoga and everything so that way like you're not like uh, uh, pushing yourself to the max and everything like uh and constantly like uh, uh, uh getting to the point where you like uh, you get injured or something so like uh that's like another reason why like uh recovery is important so like it's like the same thing like like if you're like a marathon runner like uh, if you do like the boston marathon where like you're running like uh, 26 miles you uh like if uh, you did that today you will not necessarily go in again tomorrow and do like the same thing all over again because you wouldn't be able to like uh recover correctly and everything and like uh and like it would be like a uh, too much stress on your body and everything so that's why like uh you want like uh, uh recovery is important so that way like you can give yourself enough time to like uh, be able to like uh, uh make progress over the long term and everything so like you're not setting yourself back so like uh, like uh, for instance like uh, uh using injuries like for instance like uh, the the marathon example like uh you're not going in uh doing a marathon today and then a marathon tomorrow and then the marathon on tuesday and uh, doing it all week and then all of a sudden you get injured and you have to like uh sit around for like uh two months recovering you give yourself like enough time to be able to like um uh keep going and everything so you're not like uh, getting yourself injured and like you take like uh two steps forward and you take five steps back and everything and like uh, uh sleep is like the uh good the uh good ex uh, example for recovery like i said like uh, you're actually like uh uh, like, like in the case of lifting you're actually building your muscles when you're sleeping and everything because your body is able to switch over and start like uh, utilizing like uh, uh like the, the protein that you intake to start re like uh, rebuilding like uh, the stress that you've put your body underneath and everything so like uh, uh, I know like uh, the 
good links for like a, that would be like a, I know Matt Walker has a book called like a, why we sleep and everything. So that would be a good one to get into. And like, uh, I know Andrew Huberman also puts out decent, uh, you know, good information and everything. So like, uh, there's all like a, a ton of stuff that you can uh, research and everything. So like, uh, like any, like anything, what you want to do is be able to, uh, find, uh, stuff like, like in, uh, information and everything. And then like, uh, see how you can apply it to like uh, your unique situation. So like, uh, the seven, to nine hours that like, um, uh, that I mentioned, like, uh, is usually what, like, uh, the number, like, the uh, stuff that, like, I've come across, uh, and, like, uh, you also want to get consistent sleep, so, like, uh, for instance, like, if you go to bed at 10 o'clock and uh, get up at, uh, 6, that's, uh, that would be actually pretty good, but you want to make sure that you're consistently doing it, like, uh, every, uh, pretty much every day, so, like, that way, like, if you do have, like, a bad day where, like, uh, uh, you, uh, get to bed maybe at 11 and still get up uh, at six the next day. That's, uh, and it's one day out of like, uh, say 30 or so, like, uh, out of like a, out of once a month or something, you're still able to kind of like bounce back that much quicker because like, uh, especially like, and if you're especially getting like a lot less sleep and everything, like you're not, uh, you're quite often going to start, uh, reaching for those like uh, energy drinks your coffee and like uh, your stimulants to the, uh, keep your going uh, yourself going which in turn will make uh, like you get le uh, less sleep further down so like you, that's why you want to cut out like a lot of like uh the like the energy drinks and the soda and stuff like that so that way like it, it helps increase uh, your like uh, uh sleep pattern and everything and like it also like uh, with the, the four points of smart recovery it helps lead you to like a balanced life uh, because like um uh, you can sit there and uh, schedule your stuff like uh, uh, out better, and you also like uh, are able to like uh, function a lot better. So you have that mental clarity, which le leads you to like uh, being able to control your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. And like uh, it also like especially early on, like uh, like I you know, usually mentioned with like with urges, like you're not you're less likely to like uh, lash out and uh, use like uh, okay, I'm gonna take a drink because like I'm exhausted or whatever. And you're not necessarily thinking straight and everything. So like. Uh, it all ties into, and plus, like, uh, moving back, it also helps uh, you maintain the motivation and discipline to keep going and doing what you uh, do with everything. So, like, uh, uh, the, like I said, those are the two big things when it comes to recovery is pretty much, like, hydration and sleep and everything. And it's also, like, uh, tied into, like, uh, the other other uh, pillars, like, uh, uh, training and nutrition and everything. So, like, uh, next week, I'll probably, uh, I'll be getting into mobility, which is going to be pretty much uh, stuff like uh, yoga and stretching and everything.